I'm always trying to be open and trying to find the answers from the context and trying to give a different experiential kind of quality in the spaces. Any, any given time, even if a flood experience, only I have to remove my vehicle, so then the parking entire thing can be flood. And then when you're going to the next level, you're trying to see the lot of like aerial kind of view. I'm trying to understand how I can use the concrete as a material, as an interior, and trying to get the, uh, the textures. So at the same time, I have to you understand the quality or uh, characters of the concrete. So I have not, can't expose the concrete to the hot sun. So I have used the brick as insulation. So I use the brick as an outer envelope and the concrete as an inner envelope. So I always study the interior, it's almost every time it's five degree difference from outside to inside. So that is a big difference and again uh, in a concrete building. A simplicity its uh, rooted in our architecture from the past. So I'm trying to not to make it complicated. So it's basically simplifying things and enjoy it when it's more simplified. Minimalism is a not a new thing in Sri Lankan architecture. Buddhism has that a zero or a minimum or we are trying to remove things and leave things. So that background we are not trying to collect things. Even people who are using the spaces not trying to collect a lot of things. So I really like that idea about having nothing but with the with few things I am trying to create some uh, mood or a concept or a, I can say feel. Coming from you know inside, it's not it's me. You know what I'm doing is what I like to do, and I'm not doing anything that I don't like or not agreed. This is my way of living. <laughs>